In this tutorial, we are going to talk about using materials in SimLab Composer and see how it improves the quality of the rendered scene. This is the bedroom we used in the interior rendering tutorial, and it already has the lighting set up for it. As you can see, the materials applied to the objects in the scene are the default materials which SimLab Composer imports from the design software along with the model. Click on the Material menu and select Show Scene Materials. In the Scene Materials window, you will find all the materials in your scene. Click on Merge Identical Materials to reduce the number of materials in your scene by combining similar materials into one. Click on the Nightstand's drawer to select it and notice how the Scene Materials window automatically highlighted the drawer's material. Click on View Materials for the selected object to isolate the material used by the object in the Scene Materials window. Right-clicking on the Materials thumbnail will reveal several options. Select Objects Using Material will select all the objects in the scene using that material. Delete will remove that material from your scene. Apply will apply the material to all the selected objects. You can also add a new material to the scene. Delete any material that are not being used by any object, or merge the identical materials into one. Click on Select Objects Using Material, and notice how the sinks and the drawers have been selected in the 3D area. In the Materials Attributes tab in the panel to the right, you have the option to change the type of material. SimLab Composer offers different types of material that can mimic any type of material in real life. Set the type to plastic. Clicking on the Colors Preview area will enable you to change the base color of the plastic material using a color palette. You can control the R, G, B values using the color sliders. The same idea applies to the color of the reflection. ETA controls the amount of reflectivity the material has. High values will cause the material to reflect more light. The roughness value controls the glossiness of the reflection, where a low value will produce sharp defined reflection, and high value will produce spread and blurry reflections. Press F4 on your keyboard to start the real-time rendering. Notice that you can change the attributes of the material while the real-time rendering is still active. This is a unique feature in SimLab Composer that allows you to see the updated materials instantly, which in turn saves you a lot of time. SimLab Composer offers a huge variety of ready-made materials that can be used directly in your scene without further modifications. To apply a material to an object, simply drag the material from the material library and drop it onto the object. This would apply the new material to all the objects sharing the original material. You will retain the ability to modify the newly applied material by clicking on the object that has the material assigned to it. Drag a material from the wall category and drop it on the wall in the 3D area. Notice how the material was also applied to several other objects in the scene. This happened due to applying the material to an object that shares a material with several other objects. To avoid this issue, first press Ctrl and Z on your keyboard and undo the last action, and then click on the wall to select and drag the material on it. Assigning a material from the library to a selected object will apply the material to the selected object, 
and not affect the other objects that share the same material. You can change how the texture in the material appears on the object by manipulating the values of the scale and offset in the Material Attributes panel. Offset U and V will slide the texture on an object vertically and horizontally, while the U and V scale will repeat the texture creating a tile. Click on the floor. Change the material to a plastic material and increase the roughness a bit. To change the texture that is being used by that material by a texture file on your computer, click on the texture's thumbnail and navigate to the file that you need to apply. You can also apply a bump map following the same method. A bump map is a modifier that can make the texture appear as if it has a depth in its details. The strength parameter controls how vivid the bump effect is. Navigate the Material Library, and you will find hundreds of materials that can be easily applied to your scene. SimLab Composer's Material System, along with its extensive library, offers an easy way to improve the overall quality and appearance of your 3D design.